to congratulate now, we all know the man with me tonight had a fine playing career himself. Back in 1986, captain and coach of Coburg into the grand final should have been a fine example to his players. Take a look at this. Away from behind there by Pastore. Pastore knocks it on in front of him. He's met solidly by Cleary. Coming through hard as Harvinson. Umpire picks out a free kick. And it looks like it'll go to Pastore there. As the two coaches meet. And Cleary's been reported. Sent off, is he? He's been sent off. Well, what a sensational send off. I don't think, uh, personally, I don't think there was much there. But All right, uh, now, got to Sir Tony Banks has got a word. What happened then, Phil? No. He's not very well, actually, at the moment. He said that nothing happened out there and he's not all that keen. But, uh, not a very good decision. Phil Cleary, that's the first time I've ever seen you speechless. <laughs> Well, I was so angry then. Why am I smiling now, Beverly? <laughs> you don't know. What were you actually charged with? Well, actually, I was reported for kneeing to the groin. But I can tell you, because I know you'd love to know, and I can tell umpire Jeff Ryan that I was found not guilty. <laughs> yes, and you had a chance to redeem yourself a little later on, a couple of years later. And Beverly, revenge was very sweet. <laughs> Let's take